This morning, employees are returning to work, and investigators are also back at the scene. CBS 11's Nicole Jacobs is outside the Earl Cavill Federal Building this morning. She joins us now live with the newest information. Nicole. Russ, FBI agents are back at it again here at the very entrance where the shooting happened. They've been taking pictures and gathering evidence, any information to help them get a little bit closer as to a motive in this case. I can tell you, I contacted the head of Dallas Police Association this morning. He tells me officers can never train for every possible scenario, but they can be prepared. When you think people would never do something, they will. One day after a gunman opened fire outside of the Earl Cavill Federal Building in Dallas, the scene is calm as employees who are scheduled to work arrive. The street there and then take a left. FBI agents snapping pictures of the aftermath, much different from these images taken from the window of an eighth floor apartment, images that bring Michael Mata, president of the Dallas Police Association, back to sheer terror. It Instilled a lot of fear. Uh, fear because, you know, we buried five officers uh, three years ago in a similar uh, incident. But in this case, when 22 year old Brian Clyde decided to strike, he didn't make extensive strides. So it, was, it was imperative that those officers engage him quickly and effectively, which they did. Preventing all others from injury, federal officers took the former U.S. Army soldier down. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. You never know when this is going to happen. And once again, here we are. We're on you know, national news showing another gunman out here trying to take civilian lives. But as the FBI picks up the investigation. These guys are our heroes today. We owe them a debt of gratitude. Unanswered questions remain, like a motive. What would cause Clyde to randomly fire his rifle outside of the federal courthouse? Do his social media posts give revelation? Surely investigators are looking there and elsewhere, while so many others are simply grateful. Just thank God we're not burying anybody. The FBI is looking for more information. They have an open request for pictures, video, information from witnesses who were near this federal building yesterday. You can call them at 1 800 call FBI or you can go to uh, dot, uh, tips.fbi.gov. Another option, you can go to a website the FBI has set up specifically for this shooting. It's fbi.gov slash Dallas shooting. That's the very latest from Dallas. Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News.